What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, the RC Kogan. This is the Half and the Half, not Season 7, Episode 20. At first, guys, I thought it was the last episode, but I guess it's next week, because I am confused. But it is what it is. We did, it all started with Wyatt was getting sliced in the wrist. And different way you can kill someone, because you remember that Wyatt left Benny to bleed out the death. He left him from dead. And now he's doing the same thing to Wyatt by twisting his wrist. But remember, he didn't know that Wyatt wanted to die. He wanted to kill himself because that's what he want. And, you know, saying Wyatt changed his mind, said he don't want to die. And next thing you know, they decided to let him bleed out, let him pass out until he lose a lot of blood. They put him in a car. And, you know, saying this is what happened at the end when the lady was walking her dog. She saw why, and she thought why is dead. Cause I don't think he's dead, guys. I think he's still alive. I don't know if it's the last episode or it might be next week episode. I had no idea. Cause I know it had to be the between this week's finale or next week finale. I guess I don't know until I watch Ashley Miller in German. So I'll be hearing, hearing out for them today. At least it's from last night cause I know I'll put the review it then. We see Candace and Benny, cause well before Benny showed up, Miss was calling Candace and saying that she that he was pissed off, and Candace was just waking up because you could tell she was really tired. I think she was pregnant or she just exhausted, and you know why? Because she been on her foot all day and she haven't slept like that like she normally does. And Miss told that, you know, when Benny confronted him, I think it was last week, that he lied to him about about that he don't know what Derry is. And the reason why they did this because they're doing this for his own good. So he won't get in trouble. And we know Benny is a hothead. Somebody is going to end up beating him up one day because he thinks he could be everybody. And after she got off the phone with Mitch, because Mitch really care about Benny. That's his best friend. Right now he's just a little bit over the place. Um and then with um Benny stormed to the door and confronted Candace and stuff, how could you be okay with him what he did to our mom? Because let's not forget that um Benny just not finding out about the way that Hannah went through and yes, Candace was upset you know, about what he did, but there's nothing we can do about it, you know, saying she could, she put him, you know, put him in his place and stuff like that, and I think he might have to, it's good, thank God it was her that did it, because Hannah wasn't okay for what he did to Derek, even she not talking to him, doesn't mean he deserved to get beat up, but he did want to apologize for, and I don't know if you can forgive rapists, it might be hard, maybe God can do that. But whatever people I had no idea. Cause I don't think I've been in that situation and I don't want to either. Cause it, it's just sad to watch, you know? And here. Um, yeah. It's and she told him you gotta get over it because what's done is done. And she said if it wasn't for him I wouldn't be here. So that's what exactly what she told him. She told him what he wanted to hear. And of course he calmed down, he wanted to drink, and that was that. And then we see Hannah and this guy, I still don't know his name. She, she looked like she might know what she's doing. She might be ready for this. That she um also, you know, remember Catherine put her in charge. And you still got these two guys that you got to watch out for. These two white guys. You remember they, you know, thought that Catherine was going to give it to them. Nah. It wasn't gonna work like that. And God, quite be honest, we didn't see Jim in this episode, but we see, the, see David and Melissa. Cause Melissa was humping him. It's like she had given him a lap dance and stuff like that. So um, he think it was wrong because remember he was screwing her friends before. Remember she's the one that put you know she's the one that pent Candace and Erica out. But Candace ain't like that no more. And I think that. Melissa ain't neither. She said she wanted an apartment, but then she changed it, saying she wanted a house, and of course, he wasn't going to give it to her, and then she slammed her arm in, on the door, and 
telling sec- David security, tell him that, or as a bodyguard, saying that he raped me, he raped me. She started screaming at the top of her lung. David said, what the heck? Because he didn't expect her to do that. And the thing is, he gave her a new phone, which is strange, but okay. And she knew he was rich, and she wanted a house instead. Because if he didn't get her what she wants, she was going to, you know, make up a lie that, that he raped her when we know he don't be. Well, he did hit Veronica, but that was just needed. But, yeah, um, well, that's when he went to go get her. That's, you know, because he was staring at him and stuff. And, of course, we're going to see what's going to happen. If they was planning on doing next week episode, we don't know. But they're going to talk, regardless. I think it come on twice. If it does, i got to watch it tonight. Because I'm about to check. Because it's supposed to be two parts of the episode. I think it is. No, I'm just vibing. But I'll find out tonight. And then I'll review it again. Um, Anything else I want to talk about? Because I'm not going to talk about everything. You know that. And you got to see. Oh, well, yeah. Jeffrey, Cody, and Madison was having a conversation. Because before Cody came by. Jeffrey and Madison was talking and stuff, and Madison wasn't happy because he didn't want him to go over there. And wait, wait, no, it's not Jeffrey out there because that's what Veronica showed, and he was trying to tell her to get out because you see her wearing the gloves and mask. I say, wow. <laughs> I don't want to say it's your mask, but it was something. It was something. But, yeah, because you know how she felt about gay people and stuff, and it's still crazy that she's against it when it's free. Jeffrey told her, I just want, I'm free. I just want to be free. I'm not going to be told what to do. I'm not going to be held down. And not going to change my mind to how I feel about men. So, he's free. And then that's when Cody showed up. And, of course, they were going at it. And just, not just, um, we're going to speak to him. We're going to talk about him soon, too. Um, yeah, let's talk about him now. And then we get back to Veronica because... Of course, Veronica showed up because Veronica felt like she was going to get, she was being followed by David, you know, saying, saying that something's going to happen to her and stuff like that. And this guy came in and was going to look out for her and stuff like that, or at least put it behind bodyguards or something like that. So we'll see how that play out. And that's when she went to Justin's house. And you could tell Justin was shaking. He was scared. And Veronica even noticed this, that. You don't have to shake. Because she know, she would say she believed he didn't know about this. She believed him. And uh, that's when he, and that's when his brother came out and she asked, and he asked him, who is she? And then she told on the um, queen, you know, or at least queen B or whatever she said. And then she also said that I'm Jeff, I'm Jeffrey mother for Alaga. Put it just like that. So, of course, Justin got some spring to do because she told everything what Justin did to her son, molest him or rape him in the back of the police car. And he's like a and Justin. You might supposed to hear a crooked cop, cause no cops do shit like that. His brother knew about his sexuality, and he didn't want him to be that way. He wanted him to be normal and straight. Yeah, I don't know. If that's possible, but people think it is. It is what it is. And that's when she went to go see Jeffrey, um, Cody, and Madison. Madison told her to get out, and Jeffrey told her to get out. And Cody showed up. Boy, it was going down. It was something. It was okay episode, a decent episode. Let how you put it. So, yeah. I think that's all I'm going to talk about. So, anyway. That's it. Wait so you wait, comment, subscribe, pre-turn on notifications so you can be notified and share this video. Peace.